Hello, this is Ryan from the Maker Bus, and today we're gonna learn how to make nacho cheese using a chemical called sodium citrate. All right, let's get started. So we have everything we need in front of us right here. Today I'm gonna be using a medium cheddar cheese. Now you can use any kind of cheese for this, sharp cheese, Monterey Jack, mozzarella. You can even use breeze and blue cheeses, but we're gonna keep it simple. Now we're gonna use sodium citrate, Sodium citrate is a naturally occurring chemical. A box grater, measuring cup, cutting board, knife, we're good to go. Now let's get started. So we're gonna take about a third of a cup of water and we're gonna put that in a saucepan. And we're gonna bring that water to a gentle simmer. Now it's important that we don't bring the water to a boil because that'll make our nacho cheese mixture separate and nobody likes runny nacho cheese. Nobody. Now, let's get going. So we're gonna take some sodium citrate. Now sodium citrate comes from a chemical called citric acid, which is derived from citrus uh, fruits for the most part. It looks like salt, it tastes like salt. Um, some cultures call this sour salt. Uh, it's used sometimes in seltzer water. It gives it that kind of pungent taste. Now, I'm gonna put about a half teaspoon of sodium citrate in the water. I'm gonna let that dissolve, bring it to a gentle simmer. And while I do that, I'm gonna get to work on my cheese. Now, you can have a bit of wiggle room with how much cheese you use. Generally, for this amount of water and sodium citrate, we're gonna want about two to three cups of shredded cheese. Now let's get started shredding. Now, I haven't had a chance to test this yet with a blue cheese or brie cheese or some of the more exotic cheeses out there, but in theory it should work because the sodium citrate works by becoming an emulsification agent that allows the proteins to emulsify into the water to make a smooth, supple, runny nacho cheese texture. Now, you don't have to worry about those mystery cheeses with orange dye five and milk products and all kinds of unnatural things. This way we can control what goes into our nacho cheese so we can have our cake, our delicious gooey nacho cake, and eat it too and not have to worry about what ungodly chemicals are being put into it. Now, we've grated the cheese and we're almost ready to get going. We're just gonna wait a couple seconds more for the water to come to a simmer and then we're ready to go. Now, I've strapped a GoPro onto this whisk so we can show you the whisk's eye view of it mixing together. I'm just gonna give it a quick stir to make sure it's all, uh, all stirred together. I'm gonna put a small handful of cheese to get started and stir that, and immediately you see the cheese starting to melt and break down in a way that it normally wouldn't. And it comes, it comes to, almost dissolves right away right in the water. My apologies for the camera lens fogging up. Things are getting a little steamy in the kitchen today. What can I say, I get excited about nacho cheese. Now I'm gonna put more in stir that and basically what we're going to keep doing is put a small handfuls of nacho cheese in here and stir it in and over time it'll thicken and once you reach your desired thickness uh, you're good to go and you have nacho cheese. So we're just going to keep adding small handfuls. Once you get the first few handfuls mixed in you can get a bit more aggressive with your handfuls and put some bigger handfuls in. Basically you don't want to overload it right at the beginning because I've had this fail a couple times and it makes this, this horrible yellow watery mess with a big hard almost like a silly putty texture clump of cheese in the middle. That's not delicious we don't want to do that. So we're gonna go slow and steady and win the nacho cheese race. Now I'm going to be stirring this for a few more seconds while it dissolves. Let me tell you briefly about the Maker Bus. The Maker Bus is a classroom on wheels based in London, Ontario, Canada. Um, we believe in creativity, fun, technology, education, and the arts and humanities. And we try to breach, uh, we try to approach education from a really fun and playful perspective. So if you ever want more information about the Maker Bus, visit www.makerbus.ca. You can learn all about our project. Now we're almost all mixed in. I have about one full handful. I'm gonna give it a good aggressive mix just to make sure we're all combined. And you can see it's really starting to form that familiar nacho cheese texture. It's really getting gooey, runny, but smooth. Now, you could use this for more than just nacho cheese. If you make this mixture and throw in some macaroni, you'd have one of the most amazing, cheesy, and delicious macaroni cheeses you could hope for. Or, if you took this down, put it in the fridge and let it settle, as it cools, you'd be essentially making American cheese slices. You could slice these, throw them on a hamburger, put them on a grill, and you'd have just the most amazing melted cheesy mess on top. I'm telling you, sodium citrate will, will forever change the way you approach cheese. I'll put a good supplier that I've used in the past um, in Canada, because sometimes it's hard to find these kind of chemicals in Canada, uh, in the comments on the YouTube post. That way, if you're in Canada like me and you want to find it, 
you can have a little bit easier time. If you're in the States, there's a lot of molecular gastronomy websites that'll supply you. Now you can look. See, it's reaching that nacho cheese consistency. Look at how it just kind of oozes right off the spoon. Mmm, nacho cheese. Now, let's go dress some chips with this and, and do what nacho cheese is made for. Just get it in our faces. Mmm, look at it. It's really started to melt and come together. Alright, so we have some nachos and uh, we're just going to drizzle right on top. This is what we've all been waiting for, the money shot. Look at it, ooze and goo. This is nacho cheese at its finest. I defy you to go to any 7-Eleven and find a better, more rich, and delicious plate of nacho cheese than we have right here. Thanks very much for watching the video. I hope I've inspired you to go out and experiment and play with your food a little bit. Now, if you ever want to find out more information about the Maker Bus, visit our blog at www.dhmakerbus.com for more. Thanks.